What up, y'all? Being Rap here. I'm finally in Kitty, Texas, and this is the first official vlog with my new phone. And uh, I'm here with my friend Max. So, Max came with me to, and let's see, look at his wallpaper. What is that? A 3000 GT. Okay, so something that y'all should know. Um, he said the word 3000, he referred to this car over t about 200 times on the way over here. So, yeah. I've had to sit for two and a half hours listening about a Mitsubishi 3000 GT. Bro, that's a fucking awesome car. No wonder I don't have one. And I'm glad I don't have one. Because if I did, I'd probably be so addicted to it that I'd tell someone about it over 200 times on a road trip. So, anyway, guys, this is the first official vlog. More to come. Kevin is coming, and I'm probably going to do some vlogs on my 4K camera. I just wanted to try out my phone camera for the first time. Welcome, everybody, to my first official, well, not really, my first official vlog with my 4K camera. And I'm here with other Loud Best artists, Jimmy Newton, Noah Zoom, and I never got your name. I'm just Zach. <laughs> yeah. And Zach. What's up? What's weird is that you have the most basic name here, but I feel like you have the coolest music out of all of us. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like Noah Do Zoom. Little, Noah little Zoom. Yeah. I feel like you have music that goes super slow, even though your name is Zoom. Yeah. And Jimmy yeah. Newton. I feel like your music sounds very like. Well, let's be honest, your name sounds very classic, but I feel like your music is like, whoa, this dude's in 2035, and I we're know, still right? in 2018. <laughs> and I, as always, you know who I am. So guys, tell my people about your music. <laughs> you, you first. No, you first. Uh -oh. <laughs> you, you I'll get him first. My name is uh, Jimmy Neptune. Um, I am the creator of my brand, Wolf Gang. Wolf Gang stands for We Only Loyal to Family. Um, I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, I have a hit. I have a hit single called OG on YouTube. It's a music fest. I mean, it's a music video. Um, I'm in a onesie. I'm in a blue yeti. I'm in a. I'm in a blue yeti onesie in my music video. Um, I also have a website, which is www.jimmyneptune. J i m m y e n e p t u n e. dot com. Make sure you check it out. I have all my streaming platforms. Spotify. Apple Music, Tidal, uh, I'm even on TikTok, so make sure y'all go check me out. <laughs> Alright, now, Noah! Alright, so what's up? My name is Noah Zoom. I'm from, actually not from here, I'm actually from Little Rock, Arkansas, which is probably the only one here, oddly, I guess. Uh, yeah, or the yeah, most talented yeah. out of all of the but state. But here's the cool part, here's the cool part though, you're representing an entire state. Probably like, so. I'm from San Antonio, and like, you know, we have... Like, San Antonio's, the equivalent of San Antonio's world heavyweight champion is going to be here. Yeah. Like, I am San Antonio's equivalent of a former two-time intercontinental champion and a main eventer. But you, yes. you're repping an entire state exactly. of Arkansas. Exactly. Yeah. It's like, right now, I'm actually an EDM DJ and a music producer. And uh, I've been doing this this music thing for almost pretty much more than two years now. Ooh. And uh, even though sometimes my uh, like my expansion and everything is kind of slow, but I will get there. It's like say some musicians take it like three to four years and stuff like that, more than that to get the, out of there at that point. And uh, but it's just like say I'm it's like say I'm ready to get this place up. And I actually finished my collab just a few weeks ago with Supernova. He's actually here from Texas. And I uh, can't wait to actually some of y'all hear it and stuff nice, too. Nice. And now Zach attack. Hey, God, I'm Zach. What up? Yeah, what's up, Zach? You go, <laughs> man. I'm Zach. You go. Uh, I do. I'm from where Noah's from. We actually like grew up together. And, wait, uh, wait, so you're from Arkansas too? Yeah. You liar! <laughs> you said you were the only one here from Arkansas. Oh crap! Well, and it's the guy I'm from Oklahoma. The I'm from <laughs> Oklahoma. <laughs> but are you rapping Oklahoma or Arkansas? No, I'm from Arkansas. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah. I was about to say. Dun, dun, dun. I was about to say, why the hell would you represent Oklahoma? I don't know. <laughs> They're just tornado bell. Like yeah. my girlfriend said, there's nothing to do in Oklahoma nothing. except smoke meth and get pregnant. I've been to Oklahoma. Unless Oklahoma, Oklahoma like, City has gone from the worst game. <laughs> Not trying to diss on Oklahoma. I, feel like I don't give a fuck. <laughs> fuck Oklahoma. I feel like it's turning to diss about Oklahoma. No, but um, so I do a bunch of like rock, uh, metal, uh, some EDM stuff on the side. Just a bunch of like different things. 
Um, I'm kind of genre fluid, so I'll write, I'll write something that's really like EDM heavy, but then I'll throw a little bit of rock vibes into it, you know, things like that, and kind of mesh stuff together. So that's kind of what I do. And now that is it for the first official vlog. Peace out, guys. Again. You put a V8 drink in a V8 engine and you get twice the V8. No, no, no. The whole put a V8 in a V8 and get a V8, whatever. That's exactly what I said. You put, no, a, he... you put a V8 drink in a V8 engine and he gets twice the V8 power. So that makes it a V16. Yeah, man. V8 squared. Oh, wait, no. V8 squared is 64. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Finally! Chicken yeah, Mac! Man! Let's go, y'all already know what it is. Yeah, finally we met, man. Well, of course, man, it was about time. You know, yeah, and why are you not six feet apart? Like, I didn't tell you to come this close to no, me, let, let the Demon King know. Let the Demon King know. Yeah, so anyway, so now, now that we're finally here, we're finally at Loud Fest. We're finally doing the one thing we came here to do. What are we gonna do? Perform. Yeah, we're gonna perform. We're both performing today. Finally, Dick and Raph. It means you get, you get, how do you pronounce it? Eugenia. <laughs> Eugenia. I keep Eugenia thinking it's okay. Uganda because of the way it's pronounced. So, are you having fun? It's exciting. It's a new experience. It definitely is. I like the vibes though. What do you mean it's a new experience? Uh, just seeing a bunch of creative artists coming together in one spot. It's something I haven't experienced yet. Oh, it's something. I mean, like the shows and everything, like local San Antonio, and I guess it's just more like uh, all over the state coming together, you know what I mean? You've never been to a Comic Con, have you? Yeah, briefly. <laughs> no, that's exactly what a Comic Con is. Just a bunch of artists coming together to celebrate the art that they love. Yeah? Definitely. And why are you not wearing a mask? I was wearing one right now. <laughs> Put your mask on. <laughs> Bro, you know, I could be a carrier. And you have your mask on, luckily. Yeah, but even then, it's like, you know, this isn't an N95, you know? So, yeah. Bro, you know, like, friggin', it could be in the air, you know? You never know. I'm here with Cody Blake! Yo, so apparently Cody Blake had a Yu-Gi-Oh! had the same Yu-Gi-Oh! lunchbox that I had. I did, I had a Yu-Gi-Oh! lunchbox, man, from 2002. Bro, when was the last time you played Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, man. We're recording, right? Yeah. I was in, I was in intermediate school, so in 2005. 2005, 2006. That was actually the last time that I touched the video card and had my collectible. Bro, uh, wait until you should have seen how the game is now. It is so like, okay. So after GX and 5D came out, they're like, okay, now we're gonna have Synchro summoning. Then the next series, uh, Zexal. Now we're gonna have XYZ summoning. Then the next series, Arc, uh, Rain, Arc 5. Now we're gonna have Endolum summoning. Yeah. And now Rain, they have this thing called Link Summon. And there's a new series coming out, and they're gonna have another type of summon. Do you get what went from being that hour long game to being maybe a two to five minute game? Yeah. Evolution is a beautiful thing. Evolution had passed you by. There you go. Definitely. There you go. Hey, it was nice talking to you, man. And uh, what you call it? If you guys ever see a yellow Hyundai Bellastar with black stripe, it's probably him. Okay.
this while you tell us the words? Mm -hmm. Perform the next? I like it. I already performed. Oh, okay. Did yeah. you not hear that white, that powder in your music? Oh, uh, hey, dude, we actually, was I was over there when it happened. Man, we great. Uh, I saw you in the circle. I did. I, did. I got I a better idea. Circle. How about I change out of cosplay, put on my central kind of cosplay, use my blue white white dragon, and send your candy ass back to the shadow realm? Oh, no, we didn't. Listen, y'all, I think oh. we're that note of. Uh, I, I don't know if he's talking to you. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he's talking to you. I don't think he's talking to you. I don't think he's talking to you. I do Okay, uh, listen, this is 95 3 Jam. You heard it right here. I'm over and out to go get something in there. Yeah, uh, this is man. And, uh, you have to remind this man what's up, man. Yo, what's up, man? Start off this thing on 95 3 Jam. Peace out. What up guys, Geek and Rap, and I'm here with Jay Vera! Yo, what's up everybody? Jay Vera, are you having fun? I'm having loads of fun. It's been a fantastic day. Have you performed yet? Yes, I just actually got off the stage. Bro, I missed it? Uh, yeah, dude, it was such a great show. I Bro, I'm it. sorry, man, I was changing. Oh, it's okay. You had a great set too. I saw you perform. It was fantastic. Definitely. So yeah. tell me, Jay, what yeah. was that speech I gave at the end? What was it that I said that I had that other artists didn't? That I had, I had already got, I was getting ready for my set. Oh. <laughs> I had to walk away, I had to get ready for my set. So, so I got a question. The, answer? the one thing, the one trait I have that differentiates me from a lot of other artists. Yes. The single quality that label and managers that I do not have cannot give their artists. The single ingredient necessary to make this is a lot of extra spicy, ruthless. Aggression. Okay. Do you have ruthless aggression? I, I wish. I know. <laughs> you don't. I don't have. You ruthless. don't have what it takes to do what's necessary for your music. You I, don't have the what. You're not willing to make the necessary sacrifices to I, get what you want. I'll tell you what. I will, and I believe that my team will do the same as well. <laughs> I got you. Cause it's like this. Like, what's the biggest thing you've sacrificed for your music? The biggest thing that I sacrificed for music is time away from family and time away from friends. Did you ever drop out of college? I actually, no, I did not. Did you, were you ever like, um, did you ever, were you ever so dedicated you ended up sleeping in your car? Did you ever result to doing illegal activity to no. fund it? No, never that. Did your mommy and daddy support you your whole life? I and when you came in fifth place in that middle school talent show, did they hug you and tell you it's okay? They told me it would always be okay. <laughs> Then you do not have ruthless aggression. Oh man, no, I guess not. No. <laughs> Maybe you can show me. <laughs> okay. Quit your day job. Okay, wow. And do this full time. You know, I'm, a, I'm almost doing this full time. It's been fantastic. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, here's the next thing. Um, take your tax returns, right? Uh huh. And invest it into something for your music. All okay. of it. Okay. Well, here's what I want you to do. I want you to, I want you to, here's what I want you to do. I want you to find some pretty girl with a lot of kids. Okay. Uh, talk your way into her pants. Okay. Talk your way into letting her claim all of her kids on your tax return. And then leave. And you'd all that for your music. Oh, no, I can't. And then, and then later on, pay her back. I but would. As long as you pay her back later on. So as long as I pay her back, it's okay? It's okay. I would feel terrible with the Cause that is ruthless. Aggression. What up, y'all? It is officially day. It's Sunday of Loud Fest, and I'm here with Max. So, how was the first day? Um, fantastic. Saw a lot of people wearing some fresh ass Jordans like this. Except mine's Hold up, let me zoom in on those. Let me zoom in on those. Yeah. Gotta clean them up a little bit more, but yeah. You know. Yeah, apparently everyone here at Loudfest loves Jordans. Yeah, that's right. And apparently everyone else also likes Mitsubishi 3000 GTs. If only I had a third one, I think I'd be more settled in. Yeah, if you had a third one, you'd be even cooler than you are now. <laughs> like, bro, there was, there was this artist named Cody Blake who was looking at, um, who was looking at Mac like he was touched by God or something. Just because he had two 3000 GTs. Well, it's uh, certainly uh, a car of its time. I mean, the, the brand's not really making them anymore, so. Yeah. But anyway, what's gonna happen the second day of Loud Fest? Who knows? Stay tuned after these messages. 
Alright. All right. Hey, hey guys, you can wrap here. Yes. I got people playing Yu-Gi-Oh! at Loud Fest. <laughs> I started this. I get, hey, you hear me, Loud Fest? I got people playing Yu-Gi-Oh! By the way, that's my hand. Don't tell them what's in there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I got people okay, at Loud Fest. Okay, so this is what I got left right here. <laughs> How are you going to lose? Uh, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. All right. All right. So I need my time for place with one monster face down. All right. Draw. Because I can pull a sea serpent, I special summon another mega sea dragon. And then... Activate the legendary ocean. All water monsters gain 300 attack. And let me see, do I have a five stars XYZ? Okay, never mind. Uh, it's already recording, uh, so just hold it. What up, everybody? Diggy Rap here, and I'm finally meeting Merrick. Merrick. Mari. Mari three times. Mari. I keep thinking it's Merrick. Nah, it's okay. Mari. So go ahead and take your own on. You can start here for your first interview. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, I guess we'll do our video later. Yeah. Okay, so in this uh, river that's, uh, or lake, that's at Loud Fest, this fool wants to wrestle the alligator that's in there. I, I will, I will smack a croc, man. I will. Or man. gator, whatever the fuck it is. You've been watching too much Crocodile Hunter. Bro, I will be the next Steve Irwin, and the next time I see a manta ray, I will wrestle one of them, too. I think his son is going to be the next Steve Irwin. Mm, I don't know about that. I'll, I'll beat him to the punchline for that one. Yeah. Again for the fifth time. Hello. <laughs> yeah. So I have a few questions. Marvel or DC? Marvel. Why Marvel? Is that wrong answer? No, uh, <laughs> it sounded both, like a wrong both answer. Both answer is wrong for different reasons. I don't know. I think I think I was. I've, yeah, I've always liked Marvel more than DC. They had to me. Their characters are more just badass, and you know, DC's just. Batman. Oh, you can't really name any of these characters. Are you trying to call me out right now? No, I'm just trying to see, like, <laughs> check this out. There's, like, some people where they love Marvel, well, but, they, like... but they can't name that many DC characters. No, 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 no. But, yeah, because exactly, like, yeah. DC, like, with Superman, Batman, that's basically, like, the main one. Yeah, I mean... Uh, Marvel has, well, far more better ones. Oh, yeah, They're like... fun. Yeah, exactly. Like, Thor Ragnarok. Excuse me? Like Thor Ragnarok. Oh, okay, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. 
That was a buddy I'm... cop movie without being cops. <laughs> that, that was the funniest superhero movie ever with the whole, they're gonna know who you are. Not if I do this. <laughs> you know? But uh, no, because it's like, like if you ask anybody what better, who named DC kids, they'll be like, let's see, Batman, Superman, Joker, Wonder Woman, right? Right. Whereas like, you ask them all, oh yeah. Exactly. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi, right, so are you having fun at Loud Fest? I am, I'm having a lot of fun. Of course you're having fun. You're talking with me. It's my highlight of my day. Yeah, definitely. I'm the highlight of everybody's day. I bet. Like, I should change my rap name to Highlighters. <laughs> And I can dress in like some very bright clothing, like highlighter yellow stuff. Can you write that down for us? Just <laughs> <so>. <laughs> that's, that's great. I know that's a like you're already idea. wearing. You're already wearing. You're already stealing my act. You're well, I'm sorry. Stuff. You know, I'm trying to make it a secret for now. Yeah. So, you know. You got to do this. Ex I got to. Yeah, you got to be like Thor and Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> yeah. All right. Overall, so I've been doing all these videos with people that I know just because it's like. In the anime community, whenever you do vlogging, yeah. you do vlog videos like this with friends, like like with my friend, whatever their cosplay dad, I'd ask them some awkward questions, like, um, for example, um, for example, De Captain America, right? I'd be right. like, so why did you spend an entire movie chasing after your ex? Right. Like, ca like Tony and Sam are great boyfriends. Why are you chasing after your ex who literally gave an arm for you? Yeah. He doesn't love you anymore, man. I felt that, yeah. Yeah, most definitely. But overall, this is day two of Loud Fest, and we're having lots of fun. Lots. I'm going to teach you how to play Yu-Gi-Oh, so peace out, guys. Help me. <laughs> Ready? And now I'm here with, what's your name? Air. Air and? Yeah. Hippie Snook. I was, was going to say water, but OK. <laughs> she said air. <laughs> right. So Avatar, the last air mender, air, water, fire. Yeah, yeah. That makes it. So I have a question. OK. If you guys were in the Avatar, the last airbender universe, what what, what, um, what land would you want to come from? Air, water, fire, what? Water. Water. Air. Why water? I'm a water sign. <laughs> what about you? I mean, my name's Air, so I gotta choose Air. Okay, right? so check this out. You know what's the cool thing about water benders? Hmm. They can bend water from anywhere, meaning they can do blood bending. Yeah, they I can watched the whole people series. body because they're controlling the water inside their body. Mm -hmm. I watched the whole series of Avatar, Last Airbender, and, and, and Legend of Korra. Yeah. Oh, bro, you seen Legend of Korra? Bro, yes, Legend I watched... of Korra is way cooler than people think it is. It really is. It really is, though. Because it's like with the Last Airbender, right? Or I'm not gonna say for it, bro. It's been over ten years now. Right. So with uh, the Last Airbender, this is the world that needs the Avatar. Whereas Legend of Korra, this is the world where the Avatar is the cause of all the uh, destruction. Right, but she's she's making some great changes though. She's That's letting true. the spirit world back into the real world. We need yeah, not only that, but you know, like Tenzin said, she's done oh, more for the world in a couple of years than most Avatar has done in their whole life. Like, yep. look at freaking the water bending Avatar before her didn't do shit. What? Look for the water bender before her that was the Avatar. Oh, okay. I thought you was talking about motherfucking Katara. I no, was no, 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 no. Katara. Bro, Katara, bro. Like, what's up on Katara with the shit? I know. And then, like, you with air. Like, you've seen all the series, right? No, no she hasn't. So, check it out with airbending. You can literally bend the air out of people's lungs. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you want uh, someone to die slowly, you can form, like, a bubble and around their head so they can't breathe. And you can just literally rip the air out of their oh, lungs shit. until they tell you what they what you need to tell. Until they tell you what you want to hear. Oh shit. You know? So suffocation basically. Yeah. Yeah, there were like these four like really badass airbenders, like they had mastered every type. Like the fire yeah. one, he did combustion with his motherfucking third eye. Nigga. Yeah. Yes, these niggas were in tune with the nature. Yeah. Just like it was an earth bend, there was an earthbender that could him. lava bend. Yes, fucking lava bend. What for fire? Yeah, Yay. no, no, no. I mean, like, you were bending the heat out of the earth and caught, making it lava. Uh, yeah, it was a, it was an earth bender. Yeah. And, and then, then motherfucking, what's his Bolin. name? Bolin. Bolin. He was like, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, I can't metal bend. I guess I'm not special. And, and then, then he just, lava like, bends. I was like, out of the, yeah. yeah. He didn't get the metal bend, but lava bend is yeah. so much better. Yeah. And look, the cool thing about fire bending is that you can lightning bend, too. Yep. Ooh. Fuck you. Yeah. yeah. But the only thing with, uh, there is a downside to like, you know, fire bending and lightning bending. Because it's like with water bending, as soon as you stop, the water just falls to the ground. Mm -hmm. As soon as you stop, the, air, the earth falls to the ground. But with fire, as soon as you stop, whatever it touched, it's still burning. Mm -hmm. Lightning, whatever it touched, 
it's still getting an electricity shock. So, you know, like, not saying I want to be a firebender, but, you know, you oh, know, being a fire. firebender, that's going to be like, you know, rough. Now I wonder water. <laughs> Water's so fluid and No crazy. wonder Zuko is such an emo kid. <laughs> Wait, y'all know what emo is, right? Yes. I was definitely an emo scene kid in middle school. When yeah. I was I a young know. boy, my father <laughs> took me into the city. Come on, that's our emo anthem. Go ahead, sing I don't know that song. I don't know that song. I don't know that song. Go ahead, sing I listen to like a lot of Simple Plan and like Good Charlotte, Blink Lady. My Chemical Romance? But I listen to a little bit of My Chemical Bro, Romance. Welcome to the I love Black Evanescence. And welcome like to that. the Black Parade. It's mm -hmm. the best emo song out of all emo songs. I wasn't that emo though. Oh. I was more, I was a little bit more peppy <laughs> oh. than emo, uh, I but I still love the statue. Thing, I wasn't emo at all. I was kind of like, you know, I wanted to be one, but I was in church five days a week, <laughs> so I couldn't really be one. So was I. Oh. <laughs> nice. Yeah. The only day, yeah, but it's like, you know, I couldn't like be so, like, I couldn't put on black nail polish because it's mm. like, you know. Like, I took home economics and my dad made a big deal thinking I would, uh, that it was my way of saying I was gay. Mm. And like, here we are when I was in college and I had to be the one to sew the holes and all this stuff. Yeah. I cook better than him. <laughs> I, yeah. like, uh, like, my dad can't even make a grilled cheese oh, as no. good as I can. Don't it's like Gordon Ramsay said, you're 30 years old, you can't make a, you know. So yeah. <laughs> right. Wait, wait, do you guys have fun at Loud Fest? Oh heck yeah. Hell yeah. Hell I'm yeah. Great time. Great right. time. So on a scale of uh, one to, let's be honest, you're gonna say one. Who? What's been your best interview so far? Well, we have to do our interviews uh, later on. Yeah, we do ours today. Oh, they're not as cool as mine. <laughs> They're not gonna be cool as mine. Dope. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, tell people where they can find you. Well, my Instagram is it's me underscore air. Mine is hippie.snooks underscore underscore. Yes, and we have a joint account, air and hippie.snooks. Okay. Do you guys have like um like a card or something? Because oh that's right, you guys follow me back. How do you know yeah. how to find me? Alright, great. Peace out guys. Hey guys, I'm here with Rachel. What up? Rachel, what, what's your full name? The, Rachel Winters. Uh, Rachel Winters. And that's R-A-Y-C-H-E-A-L. So tell us about this Game of Thrones mashup that you have. It's not a Game of Thrones mashup. Then why? But I you, just like to dress up. But, you know, you have white hair, you Rachel Winters. Brace yourself, winter is coming. I've heard that joke many times, yes. I, unfortunately, it is not tied to Game of Thrones at all. But I appreciate the compliment because she's gorgeous. And she is. Yes. You know, with the whole, the way, like, she just, like, smiles at her enemies. And then as soon as she turned around, <laughs> you know. <laughs> such sass in that character. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, Have you actually seen Game of Thrones? I've watched a couple episodes. But, Head come off, you know. Yeah, it's know. such a, it's such a what the fuck just happened type of show. No, a lot of people like it. It's just not my usual genre of TV. What is your usual genre? Crime. Huh? Crime, murder mystery. Bro, do you watch Law and Order SVU? Yes. Bro. Every fucking episode. Elliot needs to come back. Bro. Like when uh. Yes, he does. When Lewis Miller, like, you know, kidnapped Olivia, mm -hmm. Elliot should have burst through the door. I agree. You know? Hey. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Elliot should have burst. Have you seen Gotham? No. So, it's an origin story. Mm -hmm. The first episode of the new detective by the name of Jim Gordon is his first case the murder of Thomas and Martha Wayne. The, oh, and the, the one true? witness is the, the ten-year-old boy by the name of Bruce Wayne. Yeah, okay. I yeah, saying. it's a Batman origin story. Oh, well, I being, think I have heard of that. Yeah, but it's also a legit cop show. Oh, shit. Like the friendly guy, like, hey, let's get let's get Ed here, and the friendly guy's like, hey, I got a riddle for you. What is blah blah blah? This guy. And we're like, oh my god, that's the Riddler. So this is what the Riddler did, and you know, it takes you along this journey of. Uh, of uh, what really broke in here to make them go crazy and become these villains that they became. Interesting. Okay, I'll have to check it out. Yeah. 
of Gotham? It's called Gotham. Like the first season, they don't know if they want to be a cop show or an origin show. Okay. The second season, they get the um, they get the formula right. And after the second season, it just keeps getting better after the second season. But the first one, you really got to sit through. Okay. Don't worry, yeah. there's only like 50 episodes. <laughs> but they're only but they're like 45 minutes long. Yeah. Yeah. And lastly, as far as murder mystery goes. Um, what's your favorite murder mystery? Bones. Bones? Nice, nice. All right, I don't want to keep you up too, uh, keep you way longer, because I know you got to get, you got, um, media. yeah, you got a whole bunch of stuff you got to do, so peace out, guys. Rachel Winters on Instagram, right? Yeah. Awesome. Peace out. Hey, what's up everybody? We're here with Crowder Streaming out at Loud Fest, Houston, Texas. We're here with Deacon Rap, also known as the White Ranger. Hey, he's going to tell you a little bit about his performance yesterday that he had going on. He really rocked the crowd. So tell us, what was your hold motivation on, on. for that? Um, I just fixed your Wi-Fi signal. So anyway, what happened was um, they gave me a nine-minute notice that I was going to be performing. Right. I had nine minutes to switch into the Power Ranger costume that it takes two people to get on, mind you. And you know, run to the stage and still not be so out of breath that I got to do a 10 minute set, one song right after the other. Keep in mind, the first song is 140 beats per minute. Wow. So yeah, that's what it was like. Well, everybody, we out here, Loud Fest um, in Houston, Texas. <laughs> I forgot, I'm, I'm on live. Yeah, by the way, shout out to my coworker Liz for giving me all the days off. So yeah, Liz. Shout out so Liz for giving them the days off. And also for any artist that may see this or anybody at Loudfest, if you have not made it over to the crowded streaming booth, remember we are an independent streaming app for independent artists. Uh, download us right now. Go to the Instagram. You can download the app at. You can follow us on Instagram at Crowded Streaming, or you can go to your music store and download Crowded Music. We do pay artists for street streams. And right now we're trying to get deep on the platform, so everybody that's into his music and support what he's doing, you'll be able to find his music on crowded streaming in the near future. Tell you what, tell you what. I'll join your platform, but on one condition. Yeah. Uh, will there be bitches? <laughs> Are there bitches on the platform? Oh, man. I'm not getting on the platform unless there's bitches, bro. Oh, man. You caught me off guard with that one, man. Uh, okay, okay. Are there dragons on the platform? There might be some dragons there's on there, man. Bro, go download the crowded streaming app now. There are dragons on the platform. All right, man. Thank y'all for tuning in with us. Appreciate it. Yes. And also, shout out to my coworker Liz for giving me the days off to come here. Shout out coworker Liz. 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 Yeah. Liz. Yeah. So I got a question for you. Are you performing today? I performed yesterday. I was the guy who dressed in the car Okay. What song did you perform yesterday? I performed my EDM song, Otaku's Attack. Okay. Um, my car song, Right Burner, which is about Japanese vehicles. Okay. My song about friendship, where I sample the power energy. My song about life in the 90s. And Ice Ice Baby. Ice Ice Baby? <laughs> <laughs> so I bet you had a lot of fun. Oh, I did. That's what's up. All right, so I got a question for you. Okay. In the middle of COVID, what has been some of your biggest challenges that you've had? Well, I was supposed to go on two tours. I was supposed to perform in Atlanta. Like, me and my girlfriend were going to spend our two-year anniversary in Atlanta at Dragon Con. So you missed all of that because of COVID. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. But at the same time, because of COVID, my following almost doubled. My connections doubled. That's good. I had money to get some fancy new costumes, like a $400 Power Ranger costume. Oh my God. That's cool. Definitely. And you know, you got to take the good with, you got to look at the positive side. Like for example, COVID. Everybody with a dream now knows if they lack the time or if they just lack the drive. And that's true. That's a good one. I like that. Lack time because you lack the time. No, 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 no. Before COVID, people complained that they couldn't chase their dream because they, so didn't, they didn't have, have the time. time. Now we have the now time. Now we have the time. What are you doing? We have been in COVID era for like 10 months now. What have you done? Right. You know? That's a good way to look at it. I actually like that. That's motivation. Yeah. It's very motivational. I, I actually give a speech at the end of my set. That's yeah, you know. What's the speech about? The speech was some of you may be wondering how the hell that a Power Ranger can hear because I have one special trait that differentiates me from all the other artists, all, a lot of other artists. And one special quality that labels and, ma and managers that I, I don't have a label or manager.
Senator, they wow. didn't give it to you. A single trait necessary to make this year's Loud Fest extra spicy. You know what it is? What? Ruthless aggression. Ruthless aggression. Ruthless aggression. Like, what's the biggest thing you sacrificed to get your brand here? To get your brand to this point, what's the biggest thing you sacrificed? It's a lot of I sacrificed a lot. Like, let me give you an example. I dropped out of college to go on my first tour, and I was only two semesters away from my bachelor's degree. What did you do? I didn't drop out of college. I mean, did you sacrifice something? Like, you know, ever since 2015, tax return, birthday money, Christmas money. That all went to my music. I missed birthdays, weddings, Christmas. You know? I didn't do all of that. That is ruthless aggression. I didn't do all of that. So for me, I originally started doing this when I was a kid, and I just kept it going. Gotcha. So a lot of people find it difficult. Like when you, the thing is, people chase after a dream versus their passion, or won't, or they chase after the money yeah. versus their passion. Gotcha. And for me, I chased after my passion, which became my heart and my dream. Gotcha. So for me, I didn't have to do a lot of sacrifices because I took a lot of time to do it. It's like, you know, when it comes to being a rapper, it's like the market is saturated. It is very saturated. It's like being in a NASCAR race, right? It is. You start off in 40th. Once you actually get your music out there, you're in 40th place, all right? That's you're true. in the last place. And you got to get your momentum to where you can pass the guy in front of you. And right after you pass the guy in front of you, you got to keep it going to pass the other guy before the guy you just passed That's passes true. you up. That's true. So I got a question. Yeah? How can we find you on social media? You can find me at the Rap, D E A Q N R A P. I'm going to give you a card for the barcode. Okay. I have a question for you. Okay. What is Geek Chick Squad? Geek Chick Squad is an organization that I work with, and they basically build websites and development of uh, web development yeah, we websites and graphics. Oh, nice. In addition to that, they also have a free online business directory. Nice. So for anybody who wants to go in and register their business, they can go in there for free and register for the Nice, nice. And I saw the word geek, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, this interview about to be lit. <laughs> Like, I thought that was you, like, you were the geek. I actually am the first. Oh, okay, so Marvel or DC? Don't do that. Okay. I'm a DC what? comic. Batman is my favorite. Batman I have and a cosplay. Batman and Harley I have a, like, $250 Nightwing cosplay. That's what's up. So, you know. All right, cool. We'll catch up with you later on. Definitely. Peace right, out, guys. Thanks. Oh, which one did you vote? I voted for this one. You voted for the dope there. I did. Are you a fan of the show? I know. I just told you when I uh, found you through Loud Fest. So when I said, let me check him out. Yeah. And one day you had posted something and you had said, which one should I pick? And I chose that. Yeah. Are you recording? Awesome. Okay, yeah. No, what's your call then? I, uh, I want, are we recording right now? No, we're about to get started though. Oh, gotcha. Uh -huh. okay, let's see. Let's do it then. <laughs> let's do it because then whatever we're talking about, we can get it on. Yes, yeah, definitely. Okay? All right. What's going on? It is Loud Fest 2020, day two. You got Queen tomorrow with the Tomorrow Today show, and here I have. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, good. We have signal interruptions. Just have to fix that very quick. My name is Deacon Rap. I'm the most JDM riding. Hardest. Black. Hot okay. play wearing. Woo! Nerd life rapping. Woo! Otaku rapping. Son of a bitch. And all of hip hop entertainment. Woo! All right, woo! Deacon Rap. Where you get that name from? So I originally was a gospel rapper. Okay. But then the first time I tried doing nerd music, I noticed I got a lot more attention. So I'm like, I'm gonna put gospel music aside and start doing this nerd music. But I decided to keep the name because I wanted to remember where I come from. Oh, okay. I also wanted to be an example because that's what Jesus teaches us to lead by example. Before I continue, big shout out to my co-worker Liz for giving me the days off. Thank you, Liz. Liz? Yeah, Liz. Shout out, Liz. Yeah. We appreciate it. <laughs> you know, Jesus didn't, didn't come to teach us, oh yeah, tell everyone they're going to go to hell because of whatever. He, can't, he taught us to be an example, to show kindness to you. Right. So, you know. There's yeah. nothing wrong with it. So, if people, well, tell me what, describe your music. Okay, you know how rappers rap about life in the street? Okay. I rap about life at the Comic Con. You know how rappers rap about their Ferrari, their Bentley, their Lowrider? Uh huh. I rap about a Honda Civic, Nissan Skyline, Honda RX7. I love it. You know it. how rappers rap about all the women they've been with? Uh huh. I rap about getting stuck in the front of them. Okay. Spoiler, I spoiler alert, I have a girlfriend. We're gonna we're we're on two and a half years. So don't be a him DM trying to be all up on him. He got somebody. What Liz, what's gonna happen if you're in my DM? 
You have my DMs once, it's okay. You might as well try to understand. Warning. But if you then have my DMs again, she's gonna find you. She will look for you. She's gonna take your broken iPhone, turn that some bitch sideways, and stick it straight up your candy ass. All right with the rock. I like you. I love you. You are amazing. Do me a favor. Tell the people how they can find you. Uh, Deacon Rap, D E A C O N R A P, on Instagram, Facebook, Spotify, SoundCloud. I'm about to drop it. My new song releases tomorrow. Okay, yeah. check that out. And um, yeah, I was performing at the White Star, at the Power Ranger yesterday. I, saw, I did not get to see it, but how did the performance go? Well, they gave me a nine minute no notice. Oh. They gave me nine, they told me like, at first they tell me, oh, in the email at 4 o'clock, they didn't tell me, oh, 345. I'm like, great, let me go change into the suit. I'm like about to go past the gate and they tell me, bro, you got to go on in nine minutes. What are you doing? Did you get it done? Well, I got it done. Like, they gave me a, even the microphone didn't work that they gave me. Oh, no, but did you put on a great show? Yes. I put no. on the show of all show. That's what's up. I don't know who's up right now, but almost nobody paying attention. But when I was on that stage, I grabbed the audience. I got their attention. And I dropped the hype. That's what's up. Hey, Loud Fest 2020, we out. Thank you. You already know who I am. Let me let y'all know who the nerdiest rapper alive is. Go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Keegan Rap. I'm the most Indian rider. Hardest fly. I'm fully wearing. Woo! Nerd Rise Rapper. Woo! I'm talking rapping. Son of a bitch. And all of hip hop entertainment. Woo! What's the guy right there? It's just on the screwdriver from Dr. Who. I like that. Yeah, the suit is from Dr. Who.
want to talk to him. Bro, you have to <laughs> y'all, make sure y'all tap him with him. Keep in touch with DJ. Uh, rap. DJ Rap, the nerdiest rapper in the game. Two things about you guys, and that's always keep the same. Okay, okay, okay. What you got going on today? What I got going on is I'm doing all these interviews today, and I'm letting people know that I am the most JDM riding. Okay, okay. Hardest, okay, okay. lying, okay. cosplay wearing, woo, hey. nerd life repping, hey. old tiger hey. rapping, hey. son of a bitch, and all of hip-hop entertainment. I know that's right, I know that's right. Where you from? Oh, yeah. So you on stage tonight or what are you doing? I was on stage yesterday. I was the guy in the Power Rangers here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's my first day. I'm on day two. Oh, well, well, I was wearing a $400 Power Rangers t-shirt. Okay, okay. Yeah. And what you pushed out? What are you wearing? 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 Oh, I rap about nerd culture. It's basically the same as regular rap, but just instead of rapping about life on the street, I'm rapping about life at the Comic Con. Instead of rapping with all the women I've been with, I have a time about getting stuck in the friend zone. Okay, 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 okay. So where am I to call you at? At Deacon Rap, D C A C O N R A T. And you know, Instagram, SoundCloud, Spotify, YouTube, everywhere. Sure. You positive? Yes! That's what I'm yes. talking about. I'm gonna love this yes. shit. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Are we recording? Yes. Let's go. Hold on. We better record, goddammit. We better record. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You got your own mic? What the heck? What is that? Oh, fucking in the hell. Oh, the Oh, shit. Oh, he just zoomed me. Goddamn, he just hypnotized. It's okay. It's okay. I'm good. You're human. You're I'm human. Oh, but he's not. Shit. I'm not human. He's a Cyberman. Get away. It's a Cyberman. Hey, that's all this interview. <laughs> it started. What the business is, this your boy Bugatti Bobby, man. When we go live with Bugatti, we bring the heat to the streets, you understand me? We tapped in with all the artists that's walking the one way from the Loud Festival. Whether they rapping, whether they doing entertainment, whether they doing anything, we tapped in. And I'm sitting right here with the one and only. He can rap, the nerdiest rapper in the game. <laughs> Why you call yourself that, man? Before I answer your question, I gotta give a shout out to my co-worker Liz for okay. giving me the days off. Thank you, Liz, for giving me the days off. Now, why I call myself that? Yeah. Did you see a, a Power Ranger walking around that today? So you was that Power Ranger I yesterday? I was the Power Ranger. In the white? Yes. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Why, what made you do that? Talk to me. Because I have a song that samples the Power Ranger theme. And what is this in your hand? A sonic screwdriver. What is wrong? What, what is it? It's Talk from to Doctor me. Who. Doctor Who? Doctor Who, that's but my costume just, today. I'm you do, you just zapped me with it and you told me he no good. So here's the thing. Okay, it's called a sonic screwdriver, right? Okay. I can hack computers. I can tell if a signal is being interrupted. I can, uh, my phone. You're I can my phone. tell if somebody is human or if they're what planet they're You can tell if they're human. I just can't. It just doesn't what work. What is he? What is he? I'm a god. He's a cyberman. I'm He's a, a god. Cyberman. What is he? He's human. What am I? You're human. What is he? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ah! He's a cyberman. Hey, man, the thing make noises, man. The thing make noises, man. With the Zygonite, don't poke him in his belly button, because that then he's going to shape shit into a regular form. There's seven foot tall slimy things right? with suction cups everywhere. Get the hell out of here, man. Okay, so tell me where we can find your music again, man. Oh, you can find my music at Seek and Map, E-E-A-C-O-N, R-I-P, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, wherever. I can do have a question. Why Bugatti? Why Bugatti? Yeah. You honestly want to know the truth? I mean, yeah, it's just an, a million dollar Volkswagen. Why have got it? Because I came from the bottom. And I don't want to count myself by the Chevy or count myself by the cut. If I'm going to scream for success and scream for striving for success, I'm going to go to the highest. So I'm going to go to the highest bid. I don't want to go to Maybach or Rose Royce because it's not expensive for me. So I'm going to go to something finest that's 1.5 million up. Who got it? The name is 50. I got you. Yeah, it's probably, it's more simple than Curry King underscore 1963 Ferrari 350. God oh damn. my god! God damn! Thirteen million dollars <laughs> for a Ferrari from the '60s. That's right. That's right. Yeah, you could buy like ten Bugatti for that much. You got the right. I just want one. Yeah, I just want one. I'm glad they had this interview with you, man. Thank for you, real, man. man. You brought a whole bunch of energy to me right now. Thank you, man. Well, tell them where they can find you. Where they can find you? Um, at you can have the E H U and R A P, and you know I'm literally bringing the house down right now. So, yeah. All right, man.
man. Man, y'all know we tuned in right now. Go live, who got it, Bobby, man. We here. Let's get the picture here, man. Boy, so, it's my last day to check out on something I just now noticed. Do y'all see this right here? There's like mold or something inside the AC vent. Like here's some more of it. And yo, that, there's some, a lot more of it. So well, this is our last day in Katy. As you can see, we're packing our stuff up. So, uh, Max, did you enjoy your time at Loud Fest? Uh, yeah, I was just getting up early. It's not something I'm used to, though. Yeah, Mac works in uh, the night security, so he does it in those uh, nice suburban neighborhoods, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, you can see we have a lot of stuff. He has a lot of stuff. He's even taking his leftovers. Yeah. I can't believe he paid $40 for all that. It was 30 something, dude. It wasn't 40 bucks. So it was 38 something, close enough. $35. Yeah. So anyway, he's that guy.